This is a short addendum to my video on chi-squared tests. Sometimes you might want to know uh, how to make a confidence interval if you have something that you know has a chi-squared distribution. Now, it's pretty commonly known how you make a confidence interval with something that has a normal distribution or a t-distribution. With a chi-squared, the idea isn't really that different. You have to find two different chi-square values because the chi-square distribution is not symmetric. And the most common use for a confidence interval like this would be to uh, make one for a population variance. So you want to be able to say that you are 95% sure that the population variance is in between two numbers based on a sample variance. So continuing with the similar kind of numbers that I used in my previous video for a sample variance, suppose we have a sample size of 23 and a sample variance of 81. Here's basically the formula. Because we know that n minus 1 times s squared has a chi-squared distribution, what we do to find these two numbers is to take n minus 1 times our variance divided by the lower value, the lower bound of a uh, chi-square distribution of the 95% range, and do the same thing divided by that upper value. So, for example, if we're using 95% and alpha is 0.05, we want to divide that 0.05 into 0.025 on each side. So let's go to our table and find these two values. So here is a table of lower critical values where we want to find the chi-squared statistic value where 0.975, that's 1 minus the alpha over 2, 0.975 is above this chi-squared statistic and with 23 in our sample we're going to use 22 degrees of freedom and so our lower chi-squared statistic there is going to be 10.982. Now going to the table of upper critical values, we're going to be again using 0.025, half of alpha, in one tail. And so this is the column where there's only 0.025 to the right of a certain chi-square statistic. Again, with 22 degrees of freedom, we're looking at 36.781. So now that I am back here with my two critical values, I see that I've made a mistake with how I have typed these because I have my, what I think about as the lower number for the uh, chi-square. I'm going to have to reverse these um, greater than or equal to or uh, less than or equal to signs to greater than or equal to signs. So I'm going to have to change those up and you'll see why in just a second. Because if the sample variance is 81, n minus 1, which is 22 times 81, gives us a value of 1,782. And to get the two limits of our confidence interval on either side here, we're going to take that number and we're going to divide it by both 10.982 and we're going to divide it by 36.781. Now why did I have to reverse those two um, signs there? Because 1,782 divided by 10.982 gives us 162.27. That's actually the, the higher number that is the highest limit of our confidence interval for what the variance could be. And then the lower number, because we're dividing by these numbers here, is going to be 48.45. So what does this mean? Well, we have just made a 95% confidence interval where we are 95% sure that the population variance is something between 48.45 and 
162.27.